basic trigonometry relates to right triangles, right angle triangles, 90 degree triangles. That tells us it's a 90 degree triangle. Okay. So let's say we've got an angle here, we'll call it 30 degrees. Trigonometry relates to the ratio of the sides. Now, the values for the sine, cosine and tangent have been known for something like 2,000 years. It's staggering that they were able to calculate the ratio of this side to that side to something like 16 decimal places without calculators. Okay, so here's our right triangle. The side opposite the right triangle is the longest side and it's called the hypotenuse. We won't use this word opposite again. Just think of the hypotenuse as the longest side of a right triangle because the opposite side of a right triangle is the side that's opposite the angle. So this is what we call the opposite side and the side that's beside the angle we call the adjacent side. Okay. And we know that the ratio of opposite over hypotenuse, opposite divided by hypotenuse, is called the sine of this angle. And in this case, it's the sine of 30 degrees. Now, any triangle, any right triangle of any size with a 30 degree angle, this ratio will be constant. So I can have a small triangle here with a 30 degree angle and a right angle and this opposite and hypotenuse will have exactly the same value opposite over hypotenuse will have exactly the same value as this triangle the fact that these ratios are equal is tied to the fact that these angles are equal at 30 degrees and if I had a much larger triangle with an angle of 30 degrees here the ratio of this side to this side would be the same and any calculator will give you the value of sine, cos and tan of any angle between 0 and 360 degrees. Practice that. Make sure you, your calculator is in degree mode because there are other ways of measuring angles. But we want degree mode. You might find a bit of trouble if you're practicing this. You might find a bit of trouble finding the tangent of 180 degrees and the tangent of 270 degrees because they don't exist, or in fact, they're infinitely large. But every other value for sine and cosine of any angle will be a number between negative one and positive one. Okay, in this particular case, the sine of 30 degrees is 0 0.5. And we know what that means. That means that the opposite side will always be half the length of the hypotenuse because the ratio of opposite to hypotenuse is 0.5. Adjacent over hypotenuse is called the cosine or cos of 30 degrees and any uh, calculator will tell you that 0 0.8660. And it goes on. You can, you can, this one doesn't. This is the fraction one over two, a half. But these others will go on forever. And, and, and depending on what you want to use it for, uh, will determine how many decimal places you want to cause. And opposite over adjacent is the tan of angle 30 degrees. So if I want the tan of 30 degrees, I go to my trusty phone calculator and I turn it on its side so it gives me the scientific calculator and I want the tan of 30 degrees. Now notice the calculator gives us the bracket in exactly the same way as it gives us the bracket for the square root. Now because I only want tan, I don't have to close the bracket. If I wanted to multiply that, that value by two, I would have to close the bracket. So I just press equals now, and the tan of 30 degrees is 0.57735026692, and if we had more room, we would go on for many hundreds of decimal places. But all we want is 0 0.5774. 0 0.577, or I'll go to three, the next one's a five, but we'll let it go on forever. The important thing is that the calculator will give you the sine, the cosine, and the tangent of any angle. And if I've got a triangle now, and 
I've got an angle of say 46 degrees up here. Here's my right angle. This is always the hypotenuse because it's the longest side. Now the opposite side is the side opposite the angle is this one. And this one beside the angle is the adjacent. And I know that opposite over hypotenuse is the sine, but this time it will be the sine of 46 degrees. Adjacent over hypotenuse is the cosine, and it will be the cosine of 46 degrees. And opposite over adjacent will be the tan of 46. So let's see, sine 46 degrees is equal to uh, sine 46 equals 0.719339. 0.71933. The cosine of 46 degrees is equal to um, clear cos 46 degrees equals 0 0.6946, 0 0.6946, and tan 46 degrees. Now, this is an interesting one because it's close to 1. Uh, tan 46 degrees equals 1.0355. Tan 46, 1.0355. Okay, so the mere fact that we can get the sine, cos and tan of any angle from our calculator means we now have to work out how we're going to use this information. First job, remember the ratios. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, tan opposite over adjacent. One of the acronyms that's used for this quite a lot is so Katoa. Some people hate this. They hate acronyms of any sort. Sine, opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine, adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent, opposite over adjacent. Or you can learn it as sine, opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine, adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent, opposite over adjacent. Anything that helps you, any memory aid that helps you remember these ratios is worthwhile. So these are the two situations. Your right angle, it, it could be drawn so that your right angle's up here. Right? You can have your triangle in any, any orientation. And this might be your angle here, let's say 53 degrees. This would be the opposite, this would be the adjacent, and of course, the longest side is always the hypotenuse. Okay, so we'll look at a very quick application, and then I'm going to leave the rest of that to another clip that allows us to uh, do a number of applications. Now we know that we can always find the sine, cos, and tan of an angle. Let's have a situation. A triangle. We will draw it a little bit differently. Right angle here. Angle here is 47 degrees. We know this distance is 20 meters and we want to know this distance here. What are we given? We don't know the hypotenuse, so we're not going to use sine or cosine because both of those need the hypotenuse. We know the opposite side is X and we know the adjacent side is 20. Now, if we're looking at a multiple choice problem, we can just forget about opposite over adjacent equals tan, but we know it's tan, don't we? Opposite and adjacent is the tangent of the angle, and we can just say x over 20 is equal to the tan of 47 degrees. This unknown distance divided by 20 is the tan of 47. So the unknown distance will be 20 times the tan of 47. The rationale here is that we multiply both sides by 20. That 20 and that 20 will cancel out, so we're left with x as tan 47 times 20. Now the difficulty here is if you put the 20 last, you've got to close that bracket on your calculator and then multiply by 20. Here we don't have to bother. The calculator will give us this one, but because our 20 is here and not here, we don't have to bother. Okay, calculator again, scientific, 20 times 10, 47 degrees. I'm not even sure I have to put the times in, but I have anyway. Equals 21.447. Equals 
21.447 and that will be meters let's look at if it looks about right we know if that was 45 degrees that this side would be the same as that side because at 45 degrees means we're looking at half a square right angle 45 45 that side will be equal in length to that side so if it was 45 it would be 20 it's a little bit more than 45 so we expect this to be a little bit more than 20 21.447 if this was 42 degrees and we were here we would expect this side to be a little bit less than 20 meters 18 point something for example so it's always good if you're saving time by not writing out all your opposite over adjacent is equal to tan of 47 degrees and then x over 20 is equal to tan 47 which I haven't even bothered to look up the tan of 47 I've just used it in that calculation here if you were going to do that which takes more much more time um, clear that and I'll just go tan of 47 degrees equals 1.72368711 1.72368711 on 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 it goes now I'm going to multiply by 20 you see how tedious it is it, it and the fact that you've already got that in the calculator is handy so x is equal to 20 times all of that and it's already in there so I'm simply going to multiply by 20 and I'll get 21.4473 okay but this is much quicker um, all I've done is that I know that this is the opposite side and this is the adjacent side so I know I have to use the tan and by putting my 20 in in the front I don't have to bother closing that bracket alright good luck other examples will have sine and cosine the first job is to recognize what angle what sides you're given and then work out which ratio you're going to use.